Non-competitive inhibition is a type of enzyme inhibition where the inhibitor reduces the activity of the enzyme and binds equally well to the enzyme whether or not it has already bound to the substrate. Let us look at how we can express non-competitive inhibition using Michael Ismet and plot where the y-axis is the rate of the reaction and the x-axis is the substrate concentration. So here you can see a normal reaction between an enzyme and a substrate. As the concentration of substrate increases, so does the rate of reaction. However, if we add a non-competitive inhibitor, the Michael Ismet and plot starts looking like this instead. As you can see, the value for Vmax decreases, which makes perfect sense considering that the inhibitors prevent the enzymes from producing products. However, unlike in uncompetitive inhibitor, the Km value remains constant. This is because the inhibitor binds to the enzyme regardless if the substrate is present or not. Another way to think of this is that the inhibitor simply inactivates some of the enzymes present in the mixture, thereby lowering the maximum rate of reaction, but not changing the affinity between the enzyme and the substrate. With that in mind, it becomes easy to draw the line with a Berg plot for the non-competitive inhibition where the y-axis is 1 over the rate of the reaction and the x-axis is 1 over the substrate concentration. We also know that the y-intercept displays 1 over the theoretical maximum of the reaction and the x-intercept displays negative 1 over the Michaelis constant. Since everything is inversed and we know that the rate of the reaction increases while the Km value remains the same, we simply fix the x-intercept and increase the slope of the curve like so to get the modified line with a Berg plot for non-competitive inhibition. If you want a quick summary of all of the different types of enzyme inhibitions, check out this short video. Until next time!